Hello and welcome to the Lizzie B. Love Show, day nine. Uh, this is my 30 days of my leap of faith, 30 days to my leap of faith. Um, I'm going to keep the title the way it is, the 30 days to my leap of faith, but it's definitely an experience of a leap of faith. And anyone who has ever had a dream or a goal and has taken a leap of faith, you know that it is very challenging. And if I haven't expressed that enough in these videos, I don't know what else I've been talking about because that's how it feels on a daily basis. And today I really got a big lesson in how to surrender and what are the action or the non-action steps that need to be taken in order to truly surrender and give up my sense of control and uh, really give in to the way that the universe and this world works, which is that I, in this human body, have very little control. I have very few things that I can control. I went into that whole thing yesterday in day eight. And it is very true. And in order to truly manifest and to be open to the infinite possibilities that the universe can bring to me, I need to acknowledge and surrender to my lack of control. And for me, as somebody who had a very long, very prolonged bout with an eating disorder, which very much has everything to do with control, and that's the dishwasher beeping right now. I cannot control the dishwasher. Um, giving up control, giving up control is very challenging for me. Um, I would rather the dishwasher not be beeping right now, but I chose to do this video in the kitchen instead of upstairs where I normally do it. So hopefully it's not too annoying. But anyway. So giving up control, I think maybe that was the universe's way of confirming what I'm saying, how, how it's important and how it's very challenging for me. Um, there's a, a part of me that really like, um, I think I get into a lot of fear. I get into like a panic, an anxious, um, fearing for my safety state when I am not controlling everything. And that's played out in my relationships. That's played out in you know, all kinds of relationships, romantic relationships, friendships, all kinds of relationships. Even these videos, you know, um, my job, my work, my school, my, of course it, it happened with my body because that's what, that's what an eating disorder is, is it's asserting control over your body, over your food. Um, and I definitely was more of an anorexic person than a bulimic, uh, binging and purging person. And anorexia is very much about control. It's about limiting the food that you have, like very much controlling your uh, body because you don't have control over the outer world. And so giving up control to me is frightening to say the least. And maybe it is for you out there too. I mean, I think that's why a lot of people don't give up their comfort, their safety, their um, even if it's not fun, even if they don't enjoy where they are, they don't give it up because it's scary because they'd have to give up control. And today I went on this really long walk. I let myself sleep in and I went on a really long walk and I got to the state of realization that the way, you know, how do I, because if I'm going to continue this leap of faith every day, I'm going to have to keep opening up and letting go. But there's going to come a point like it did today where I'm going to realize that, you know, I have to dig even deeper and go farther than I've ever gone. Um, it's like that saying to get what you've um, never had, you're going to do thing, have to do things that you've never done. And today I came to this, I, this conclusion that the only way to do it is through love. It really is. It sounds really simple, but love is the answer. I'm even getting chills just talking about it. I saw this tattoo, somebody took a picture of their tattoo and posted it on Instagram, and I think I'm going to get it. And it's on their, um, I believe it was like right on their forearm, in cute little cursive, and it says, when in doubt, dot, 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 love. And that really truly is the answer. That's what I came to today. That's the solution is to love, either to love myself or to love somebody else. But whenever you're in doubt, 
the answer, the, the solution is always love. And it's always different. You know, that's the beautiful thing about it. It's not, love doesn't mean one thing. It's not like my old uh, motto, which was when in doubt, run away, or when in doubt, fight, or when in doubt, freak out. It was, it's when in doubt, love. And so for me today, love meant letting myself sleep in because I was really tired. I woke up early to do things the past few days and stayed up late and I needed to sleep in, so I did. I slept in really late. Like, I meditated in bed for a little bit before getting up, but when I got up, it was almost 10.30 in the morning, which is, I usually get up at, like, I'm up by, like, 7.30. So I was up at 10.30, and then I just let myself relax, and going on a really long walk, and I didn't do the things. Normally, my weekend days are really super busy. I leave in the morning and don't come back until later in the evening. And I let myself, today loving myself was to relax and go on a walk. And tonight it meant going to the grocery store and getting a bunch of food and making a bunch of food for myself for the next few days and calling a friend and talking about how I was feeling, even though I really didn't want to acknowledge how I was feeling. And then earlier tonight, um, a couple hours ago, it meant crying. Like I sat and cried for like 20 minutes and like, like deep crying because that's what I needed to do in that moment. I felt a lot of um, anxiety coming on, and so I, my, my solution to that was love. And that's really what's helping me surrender and have faith, because what is preventing me from surrendering is fear. And what counteracts fear? Love. And it's true. When I come from a place of love, I come from a place of trust. Like I think a part of love, when I love somebody, I trust them. I have faith in them. I, I'm not worrying and freaking out about what they're doing or how they're going to treat me. It really is this just this sense of love and, and peace and um, really this, this sense of like um, being okay with things. You know, maybe you can think about a time when you were in love and just how everything just seemed so perfect and the world was so great. That's that sense of peace and acceptance and being in the present moment. And so I realized that this whole leap of faith thing, love is truly the answer. Um, and whatever, however that looks for you in the moment. And so for you, I guess my question for you today is where in your life can you bring more love? Where can you surrender more? And how can you incorporate love as a solution. So in those times when you're like, crap, what do I do right now? Like this person is asking me for something and I'm not really sure how to respond or I have this issue at work or I have an issue with my friend or I have this decision to make about my life or, you know, I'm at the grocery store and I'm not sure what to buy. Like whatever your choice is, come from a place of love. Can you imagine what the world, and again, I'm getting chills, can you imagine what the world would be like if everyone made that choice? There would be no war. There would be no homelessness. There would be no drug addiction. You know, the other day I was walking in this part of San Francisco where my school is, which is um, interesting. My school is very much about consciousness and spirituality, but it's in a part of San Francisco where there's a ton of homeless people and drug addicts on the street. So um, seeing human feces on the street is like a daily occurrence. And I was walking to school the other day. I haven't been there in a while because I'm taking the semester off. And I saw this guy walk by who was a com completely like high and, and low and you know crazy on drugs. And I just knew. I was like, he is an, an outward um, manifestation of society. Like he is that way because our society is sick. And it wasn't this judgment on him personally of like, oh, he's a drug addict. It was like, oh, of course he's that way. Our society is sick. And so when we all come from a place of love, when we come from this place of surrender, we help ourselves heal, we help the world heal, and I think that personally, the whole world, you know, is a reflection of how we are on the inside. And if I want my world to change, I, it doesn't matter where I move or where I go, you know, my leap of faith could be like, I'm moving to Bali, it doesn't really matter because once I go there, I'm still going to experience the world the way that I experience the world because it's me. I have the, the limiting beliefs. I have certain belief systems. I have certain trauma. I have certain memories. I have certain expectations of the world. Wherever I go, I'm going to experience that because I take myself wherever I go. 
So in order to transform myself from the inside, which is really the leap of faith, is to trust myself and the universe so much that I'm putting everything, I'm putting all of my hopes and my dreams, I'm putting them, it's like I'm betting all on one horse and I am that horse and the universe is helping me. You know, I don't know who's the horse, who's the jockey, but really um, I'm not in control. So when I come from a place of love, I can have humor about it. I can enjoy myself more. I can let go and trust. And trust and faith and all of those are key ingredients to a leap of faith, to surrendering. And surrendering is the key ingredient to a leap of faith. When we surrender, everything happens. I mean, tonight, I surrendered in a big way today, and I ended up being able to be in this house that I that I live out by myself all day. I was able to come home and cook and, and kind of have a night to myself, which I have not been in this house by myself, I think, in a month, a month and a half. Um, it's only happened one other time, and I moved in, you know, almost two months ago. So it was just like the things that I, you get the things that you need when you surrender. And to in order to surrender, you need to come from a place of love. Love for yourself, love for others. And that was my big message today was how do I come from a place of love and really committing to that. I'm really good at committing to things. Um, follow through isn't always the best, but committing to coming from a place of love is is my thing right now. So yeah, play with that. See how, see how that goes for you. And um, yeah, I will check back in tomorrow. Um, hope you all had a beautiful, beautiful day. And thanks for tuning in. And I will see you tomorrow. Good night, angel blessings.